everybody. Thank you for watching our videos and subscribing for our channel. We are in the US again today. But this time we are going on the beach and we named our video Florida's Secret Beach. This beach is on the Atlantic coast in Florida, not far from Jacksonville. You see it on the map right now. I don't know how long it is, maybe four, five miles long. Little Talbot Island. I want to tell you that it is my favorite place in Florida. And even I can say that in the United States on the beach, it is my favorite place on the beach. It is a state park and there is a campground not far from the beach. How far? Maybe a mile. Of course, if it is hot outside, um, it is difficult to walk from the beach to the campground. And the campground is uh, locked, you see, it is gated. You have to have a special code. But the campground is very quiet, very nice. It is hiding from everything, from the uh, highway, from the people and not everybody knows probably that there is a campground actually it is our campground number 10 we stayed here uh, 18 years ago 18 years ago and our tent was right here and one night i heard that Something or somebody is walking here, around the tent. It appears that it was an armadillo. So if you come here, watch for armadillos. The ranger, when we paid, told us that many campsites, I think she said 10 campsites are closed because of, because of what? Because of flooding. Because of flooding, yes. Way. I'm not sure how long we can leave the car there. Somebody might be coming in to camp. You're full most of the time. And it's Saturday night. We shouldn't leave the car there. You see somebody even put lights? This campground is very quiet, very nice, and it has has only, I don't know, it had washer wash and dryer, but right now I think it is out of order, it doesn't work. Yes, still, it does have toilets and showers. And it looks good, it looks nice. It's a big shower. We used it all the time, I remember, when we stayed at the campground. We are driving right now in the part where used to camp people with motorhomes, with trailers, and now you see it is empty because of flooding. There is a creek and a swamp on the left, and I 
won't be surprised if uh, there are alligators. So, I think you should be careful as well and watch for alligators here. There is a beautiful trail in the area of Little Talbot Island. It goes from the almost ranger station over there to the beach, but not actual beach when everybody goes a little bit uh, farther. It is four miles long and what you should be afraid of on this trail of coral snakes, right? Well, snakes generally. There are three kinds of poison snakes here that you might encounter. Two of them, rattlers and cottonmouths, you can see in most of the southeastern United States, but then Florida, and they're dangerous, but they're not particularly dangerous for a healthy person who gets to a hospital before long after they've been bitten. But then Florida has something called the coral snake, which has bright colored bands around it. Um, and they go all the way around it instead of lengthwise. And they're red and yellow, and I don't remember what all. Anyway, the coral snake is the most dangerous snake in the United States. It is dead, its venom is extremely deadly. And you may die even if you make it to a hospital quickly because it is so deadly. Fortunately, coral snakes avoid people like crazy and they uh, run from sounds if they hear sounds and they are not particularly common but they are native to Florida only place in the country where they are native and so you can encounter them here and they are dangerous I hope we will not see them we walked on this trail Many times. I don't know how many times. Oh, probably ten times. Yes, probably ten times. It's a beautiful place. Nice walk. Sometimes it is hot. Uh, right now it is actually what? Low 80s. Low 80s, yes. Not too bad. Not too bad, no. And very often you have mosquitoes. Mosquitoes house. started bothering us. Look! Two! We need to get out of this spot. There's a bunch of them right here in this spot. There's a whole cloud of them. We need to get out of this spot. Honestly, one time we came to this place and there were no mosquitoes. I think it was March. But I read that in October mosquitoes are bad. And we were there in October. What was it? Acorns or something, honey. Come on. We need to get out of here. Ah! Oh my gosh! They're eating me. Yeah, they're eating me too, honey. Let's get out of here. Yeah. And um, sometimes you see, and actually we saw, armadillos here. And turtles, many turtles. And many turtles, yes. Let's hope we will see something interesting and nice on this trail, not just poison snakes. Great thing about this trail is that, and the reason why it is just, I suppose, about my favorite trail anywhere, is because you get this experience of going through this coastal forest, which has the sandy ground and all the trees and vegetation that go with a coastal forest like this in the American South but then when you're halfway through the trail you get to this beach which you will see and you have for the rest of the second half of the trail you have a deserted wide spotless gorgeous beach as you will see so this trail is an inter interesting combination of those two things and you can see wildlife here too on occasion we call it the American Secret Beach, right? Yeah, I think we call it Florida's Secret Beach. <laughs> I will call it America Secret Beach because I ask many people in different states if they hear anything about this beach, 
nobody heard anything about little Talbot Island Beach. Well, because Many, there's no place to stay. <laughs> yes, because people like uh, people like to eat people and like stay beaches comfortably. With, with yes, hotels and restaurants and nightclubs and none of that here. Just the campground. Unfortunately, when we went to Little Talbot Island this time, the tide was in and I couldn't show you all beauty of the beach. But look at the how it looks, how the beach looks when the tide is out. Yes, not many people go here and it is unknown for people. And by the way, not many people uh, heard actually f about Little Talbot Island, Big Talbot Island. Now, just near them, right next to them in fact, is a place called Amelia Island with a very famous and very expensive five-star resort. And if you ask people who know about travel and expensive places, about Amelia Island, many of them will have heard of that and they will have heard of the resort that's there. But right next door is this other place that nobody's ever heard of. Yes, and Fernandina Beach as well. People heard about the Fernandina Beach, right? Yeah, and it's a little town about 15 miles north of where we are right now on the coast. In fact, it's where we're going to stay tonight. It's right on the ocean, but it's a little Florida beach town with... Uh, people's homes on the beach and um, restaurants and hotels and that's where we'll stay tonight it's as i said 10 15 miles away but nothing like this nothing and uh, of course everybody heard about daytona beach myrtle beach uh, south miami <coughs> beach nobody about little talbot island and by the way it is my favorite beach I don't know about Ben. And she's been to beaches all over the world at this point. And she says this is her favorite. She's been in Tahiti and, and uh, Marquesas. And Hawaii. Europe and Hawaii. Europe, and California yes. and Oregon and all over the world. Panama. Panama and all over the Caribbean. Yes, it is my favorite. And speaking of of beaches. One of the things that amazes me as an American is that people talk about the best beaches of the world and I mean there are so many and there are spectacular deserted beaches all over the world as well but many of the most famous beaches in the world are not that great honestly and if you want wonderful beaches of all the places that I've ever been I think the place that has the most the easiest to find and the ones that I think people generally like the most no matter what kind you like it's there is the United States there are great beaches here yes on the Gulf, on the side of the Gulf of Mexico uh, you can find quiet beaches with quiet water not uh, so waves are not so high right yes and here here it is different on the Atlantic coast and the pacific beaches are different still um, and then there's of course the northwestern united states with the north pacific and so there are many different kinds of beaches in the u.s but it's hard to beat the beaches of florida they're just great i agree on the trail but usually people uh, arrive by car and park in the parking lot let's see how many people are here it is the place where you arrive to the beach and you see not too many people and the uh, Water is right near the pier. We are not going to 
wait for three or four hours or even five hours when the water is tight is going in but not too many people and they are concentrated here near the entrance you saw when we left the trail there were nobody okay goodbye little Talbot Island we'll come back Probably you noticed that not too many people were in the water, actually almost nobody were in the water, because the ranger put the red flag. It is very dangerous to swim right now. And you see not too many cars are in the parking lot. So, see you next time. Goodbye. <coughs>